Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. Over the weekend, I found myself watching a program on advances in autonomous vehicles, particularly in Europe, where there are a bunch of companies making some really great strides. Now, several of the engineers being interviewed, each from different companies, all said that they weren't using GNSS modules at all on their vehicles because they simply weren't accurate enough. And while it makes perfect sense to me to outfit an autonomous vehicle with just a myriad of sensors instead of GNSS, I mean, come on, any of us can drive down a road without knowing where in the world we are. It got me thinking about the advances in GNSS accuracy over the past few years. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably spent the years buying GNSS or GPS modules. Some of them may be already built in projects, and some of them still on the workbench just waiting for their moment to shine. Now, most of these modules probably have an accuracy of about a meter and a half in any direction, basically a 10-foot sphere around the module itself. And for most projects, that's going to be fine. But with a number of our boards now using real-time kinematics, or RTK, well, that brings that accuracy down to about 14 millimeters. And let's face it, I kind of want that kind of accuracy. And in fact, in some projects, I actually need that kind of accuracy. But what am I going to do with all, or at least some, of my older GNSS boards? Well, as is so often the case, SparkFun has a solution. Introducing the new SparkFun GNSS Correction Data Receiver. This breakout board uses the Ublox Neo D9S Correction Data Receiver, a satellite data receiver for L-band correction broadcast, which can be configured for use with a variety of correction services. It decodes the satellite transmission and outputs a correction stream, enabling a high-precision GNSS receiver to reach accuracies down to centimeter level. It can be configured for use with a variety of correction services, including Ublox's Point Perfect Satellite GNSS Augmentation Service, which provides homogeneous coverage in the continuous United States and Europe. The board is equipped with a USB-C connector, so you can hook the board to your laptop and configure the device using Ublox's U-Center if you want to. We've also equipped the breakout board with two quick connectors, so you can connect it quickly and easily to your favorite development board and control it using our sophisticated Ublox GNSS Arduino library. An SMA connector is included for a secure connection to the L-band antenna of your choice. Its time to first frame is under 10 seconds at 2400 BPS, with user data rates of 600, 1200, 2400, or 4800 baud, vehicle dynamics of plus or minus 2G acceleration for all of those data rates, at velocity up to and including 300 kilometers per hour. Power, I squared C, UART1, UART2, and SPY are broken out to 0.1 inch spaced PTH pins. It can be run off of either 5 volts or 3.3 volts, but all logic is at 3.3. Its current consumption during acquisition and tracking peaks at 130 milliamps at an average of just 35 milliamps. There are jumpers for USB shield, power, 3.3 volt for UR2 port, I2C pull-up resistors, and SPI, and it supports UBX protocols over UART or I2C interfaces. So yeah, that's a ton of specs, and to many of you it might not mean a whole lot. But the bottom line is this. Now, this board can be used as a companion with many of your existing GNSS boards to take your accuracy from about the size of that trampoline in your neighbor's backyard down to about the size of this marble. Yeah, that's impressive. Now, a heads up, this board is not without its limitations. If you're looking to use Point Perfect, uh, that's currently only available in the contiguous United States and in Europe. Additionally, some of you may be aware that for a while, Ublox was only offering Point Perfect to B2B users or business to business users, not individuals. However, that's recently been removed from the Point Perfect webpage, so we should all be fine. So, if you're looking to improve positional accuracy, even if you're not going to use it on your autonomous vehicle, take a look at the new SparkFun GNSS Correction Data Receiver. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com and, you know, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Ublox was only allowing, what's it called? P position perfect, point perfect? To take your accurate, accurate? Didn't forget anything, I just screwed up a word. <laughs> Who talks like that? I shouldn't say Why that. Why are you saying that? <laughs> so to tighten your positional tolerances, because that's a thing people say, down to about, I dropped my marble. <laughs>